Hundreds of wildfires are still burning across Canada, and this week all of that smoke impacting nearly two dozen states in the U.S. Kitty Byrne has the latest. Canadian wildfire smoke is once again drifting south, bringing hazy skies to parts of the Midwest and Northeast. The conditions forcing some folks to alter their outdoor plans just before the July 4th holiday. I did try to run. I, was, I ran for about a mile and a half and I could just feel my breathing is a little bit different. At one point on Thursday, five major U.S. cities ranked in the top 10 for most polluted air in the world. According to the CDC, this smoke carries pollutants that can be especially dangerous for children, the elderly and those with respiratory diseases. The duration of exposure and, you know, being doing strenuous activity where you're breathing harder, getting more of that down into your lungs just has the, increases the chances of having um, um, symptoms or, or side of bad effects from from breathing that in. Out of the 500 active wildfires burning in Canada, more than 250 of them have been classified as out of control. Some northeastern states have sent additional firefighting crews up north to help battle the flames. This weekend, forecasters expect thunderstorms to help clear out smoke here in the U.S., but New York officials warn it could remain an issue throughout the summer. We're so used to checking uh, the weather in the wintertime. What's, what's the air temperature? What's the wind chill? We're also going to have to condition New Yorkers into understanding that being outdoors, when the air quality is compromised and at dangerous levels, it will have an effect on your health. If you do have to go outside, doctors recommend wearing an N95 mask. In New York, Katie Byrne, Fox Weather.